Hi, my name is Sam Lewis from MadeBySam.com and I'm here to tell you about how a sewing machine works. Sewing machines are essentially unchanged since they were first invented. When it comes down to the very basics of it, what it does is do a whole lot of stitching really fast. It is comprised of essentially two pieces that you care about, which are the needle and thread and the bobbin underneath. What the, what the sewing machine does is basically interweave the two threads and make a finished sewing seam. The basic parts of the sewing machine are your thread holder, your tensioning apparatus, which could be like this one mounted inside with a knob on the front, could be a big dial on the front, uh, or there are several other there are several other variations on the theme, but they all basically hold the thread and keep it tense, which allows you to adjust your thread depending on the fabric you're working with. Now, the other parts of the sewing machine that are, are of interest are your adjustments for your stitch length, which on this machine is electronic, and your stitch width which especially with zigzag uh, sorts of, of stitches is very important to adjust on this machine. It's again electronic and it'll vary your needle position. On older machines it tends to be a big dial on the front or occasionally a big dial on the back. The final part of the sewing machine that's again of particular use is your foot pedal and it's actually any more impossible to use a sewing machine without one. This is your actual starting mechanism so pressing gets your sewing machine going. And once you've adjusted everything to your satisfaction And that's how your sewing machine works.